We have one more to complete the article layout here, that is the photo gallery. For the photo gallery, we can't use the original view because there's no way we can turn it to a photo gallery in Bootstrap model. Unless we turn it to a color box gallery or flag slider via the view formatter. So we need to create a view to show this. So let's create a new view. Let's go to Structure, Views, Add New View. Give it a name, Article, Photo Gallery. Show content of Article. Now we do need a page. We need to create a block. Display format, yes, we'll use unformatted list of fields. Now this one, we we'll remove it, empty. We are going to show all. Let's continue and add it. Let's click on settings. Now for the row class, we'll type call. Small screen, we we'll show two columns. Medium screen and above will show three columns. Now we don't need all this, we can clean out a bit. Apply. Scroll down. Let's add a photo view here. Apply. We don't need the label. Image type. We select bootstrap thumbnails. Scroll down. Multiple view settings. We'll uncheck this one. So we will show each image in a different row. Scroll down. Rewrite results. We will rewrite the output of this view. Now we need to copy the bootstrap model. Now let's go to bootstrap website to copy the structure of the bootstrap model. JavaScript. On the left here. Model. Scroll down. So there's a live demo here. Click on the button. As a pop-up box appear, we can put many information in this pop-up box, text or even image. Close it. So we'll try to create an image button instead of text button and show each image in the pop-up box. Alright. So let's copy the code. Back to our view. Now we'll paste it here. Now we need to add one or two more fields to get it working. You can see this data target. This will need a unique ID. It matches with the ID down below here. Since we have multiple images here, we should provide each image with a unique ID. Now what we can do is to add a counter field in order to generate different IDs. So let's apply first and add the counter. Add a new view. Look for the counter view. We call it view result counter. Apply. We don't need to display this view. So we will type hidden and exclude from display. So apply. Let's rearrange the view. Let's remove the title. We must put this counter view above the photos as we need to use a counter token in our photo view. So if you place it below the photo view, the photo view will not be able to see the token placed after it. Let's apply. Let's go to photo view again. Let's scroll down. Rewrite result. Let's click on placement patterns. Now we'll copy this counter token and place it here. Dash counter. Also, there's a corresponding ID here. We need dash counter. So the top here must match the ID here. Now, in this way, that's how we create a unique ID for each image, right? Now for the button trigger model, we'll form our own image tag instead. So let's remove this. 
img source this is going to be our url here give a class img responsive now for this path we will use the token of this field so let's form the image url formatter we use image url absolute file path recommended image style using bootstrap thumbnails remember not to check any so we leave it nothing there's no link at all scroll down now replacement patterns we look for this token our own view here go up here and we paste it here now inside the model there's also another image we're going to show the same image but a bigger in size at the moment we'll just copy this over here now for the model title we're going to use the image art go down and get this I'm going to use this one photo art token go up here and place here now there's something we need to change here we need to remove this one button change it to anchor tag because we use we filter the button tag so you can't actually use button now same to all this here any tag that is button it will be filtered by the views but it's fine you can always use anchor tag or some other tags as long as the classes are there it will still show the same design scroll down I think we don't need the save button for this again we we'll change it to anchor tag ok save it Now we will create one more same for the field with image type that display a bigger size inside the pop-up box. I set the photo field again. Apply. Let's exclude from display. Type hidden so that we know this field is not meant to be displayed. For meta, we will change to image URL again. Absolute file path. For this one, we'll pick large, slightly bigger. Link image URL to nothing. This is important again. Multiple view settings. Uncheck this. I think that's all. More. Let's give a more descriptive title. Content. Photo. In model maybe. So that we know it's used inside the model. Apply. Now, let's rearrange the field again. This must be on the top. Apply. Click on photos. Rewrite result. Let's look for the token. Yes, the photo in model. Copy this one. Go back here. And yes, there's the one. We will replace this one. Okay, apply. Let's check it out. So we have one thumbnail and a bigger size of image to be shown in the model. That's great. Now there's one more thing to do here. We need to add a contextual filters. Let's add a node ID field here. An ID apply so that you will show only the images of the color node that's being viewed for provide default value we are going to get the default value from the url current id from url i think that's all you can apply now if you scroll down let's try node id 10 scroll down yep now you will only show the images that are belong to this node. 
So let's save the view and include this view in our article. Go to Structure, Content Types, Article, Manage Display. Scroll down, Custom Fields. We'll add a block field this time, include our view. Label, we put it Photo, Gallery, and Model. So it's Bootstrap Model. Note, yes. For again, the same thing, Limit Field. We limit to Article Content Type and Default View Mode. Scroll down. Now we can simply select the views that we created just now. Save it. Wait for a while. Scroll down. Okay, now the view appear here. Let's assign to footer. Let's put it under photo gallery. And disable this the original photo field. Scroll down and save. So let's check it out. Scroll down. Screen of photo gallery. Looks great. Click on this. Yes, we are seeing a bigger photo here. I think we will turn it into a 100% width. We can fix that later. Mm. The title of the image is not displaying, so we need to fix this one as well. Close it. We got to hide this one as well. Let's go up here, manage display, scroll down, custom fields, manage display, and edit. Layout will only show only block content. Save. Let's go back again. Click on this. Okay, the block header gone. Now let's check it out. Edit this content. Let's see if there's any description key in for the image. No wonder. We are not using alt text, we are using title instead. Assuming we have to adjust again our view. Okay, let's go back to our view, structure, views, go to photo gallery. Now click on photos, go down. We write result. Now the placement patterns, we're supposed to use the image title. So you must make sure that you're using a correct one. Go down here. We'll replace with this. That should work fine. Apply. Okay, save. Now check it out again. Scroll down. Photo gallery. That's great. It shows. Now we'll fix this image. I think it's nice to make it 100% wide. Of course, you can include a larger image. All right. Now we can also add a margin bottom here so you can separate a bit and look nicer. Let's inspect element and see what cluster we should target. Now, first of all, let's target node type article again. Go to our text editor. So put a period. Add it here. Now what about a field? Let's look for this field. Scroll a bit. Let's narrow down. I think we'll use this view article for the gallery. Right. Copy this one. Back to here. Dot view article for the gallery. Now we are targeting every column, so let's type the column and margin. First of all, we give your margin bottom 20 maybe. Save it. Again, let's look for the model image. So this within the model body, maybe we use this. Copy it. Put it here. Now, oh. I'm going to pass targeting for the image. 
width give you 100 percent height auto save it now back to our site close it and refresh yes margin bottom nicely shown click on this yep looks great now you will notice there's limitation of using bootstrap model to construct the photo gallery because when you click on the image you cannot actually navigate to the next image well perhaps there's some solution out there in the google you can search for of course Instead of using Bootstrap model, you can actually create a carousel to show all the images here, just like what we did for the front page slideshow. If you are not particular about using Bootstrap components, you can also use Colorbox or Juicebox for your gallery, which is much easier. My aim here is to show you on how to integrate certain components manually with the views, and once you know well about views, you can create and integrate a lot of beautiful jQuery or JavaScript plugin without using any contributed or third-party module. I think we have completed the article layout nicely with display suite and few group modules. So let's proceed to the next.